Hello, I'm Matt Langeth, a staff technologist with the Technical Advocacy Group here at Cohesity. Today, I'll provide you with a brief overview of native Active Directory granular object and attribute level recovery within the Cohesity data platform. To begin, let's take a look at the Cohesity user interface. Within data protection, we'll choose sources. Then within source type, we'll choose applications and apply the filter. We can see that an Active Directory instance is already registered. To register as an Active Directory source, the Cohesity Windows agent must be installed. Best practices call for the agent to be installed on all DCs. Next, we'll make sure a policy is in place. For this example, we'll be using one of our default policies, Static Silver. So we click on the Policies tabs, and then we can search for Silver, and again, using this default policy. Outside of the defaults, you can use and build policy defining your own backup intervals, replication, and archive requirements. Continuing on, once the agents are installed and the controllers are registered, we must assign a protection job. So we'll click on the protection job tab. Within the protection view, let's take a look at the protection job we've already configured, static Active Directory Backup. By clicking on the settings, we can see our summary. Within the summary, we can see that the domain controllers that are assigned to this particular job along with the static silver policy. Again, the policy defines our backup frequency, retention, and retry choices. Moving along, let's take a look at some of our use cases. Here we can see a basic Active Directory users and computers view. As an example, let's say we have a contractor, Bob Smith, assigned to the marketing OU. Bob's contract work is up, and per the department policy, his user account is deleted. Months later, Bob comes back on board. Wouldn't it be nice to restore his user account without needing to remember all of the individual settings, such as his home folder, policies, and contact information, etc.? With the Cohesity Data Protection Platform, we can do this. Let's switch back to the Cohesity UI. Within Data Protection, we'll choose Recoveries, and then from the Recovery tab, we'll choose Active Directory. Next, we have the option of searching by domain controller name or IP address. Again, these must be registered sources within an existing protection job. Here, we'll enter our example of DC of AD01. Next, the target Active Directory information window appears. We're presented with some unique options. By default, we're shown the domain controller to restore is the one selected in the previous screen. However, we do have the option to restore to another controller. Next, we'll enter credentials for a domain administrator. In the port field, we must enter the starting range of this and three consecutive ports opened up in the Windows firewall of the domain controller we're restoring to. Then we'll select the recovery point or restoring from and click continue. After the recovery snapshot has been mounted to the domain controller of our choosing, we're presented with the recovery AD interface. On the left, we're given the option to browse the entire forest. Note the range of objects available for recovery. Back to our user, let's search for him. As we mount the recovery point to the DC from which the deletion has occurred, we notice the difference is missing. Let's select the user and click Recover. We're given the option to set a new password along with the user must change the password at the next login. Let's set a temporary password and click Recover. Back at the 
Active Directory Users and Computer View, we can see that the restore happened almost instantaneously and the user is restored. As another example, let's say a administrator within the IT department has written a PowerShell script to make changes to the operations OU. Unfortunately, this PowerShell script was not written properly and deleted that OU. Back at the recovery screen within the Cohesity UI, we would select the operations object. We can see that when the difference is processing, both the users and the OU itself is missing. Let's select all of these objects and then click recover. We're presented with the object, select a multi-item recovery, where we could set a password for all of these users. The recovery will then continue. Back at the Active Directory Users and Computers screen, if we select a refresh, we can see that the Operations OU, along with the individual users, have been restored. This concludes our demo. Thank you. Thank you.